earth, the element of stability, grounding, and strength. The energy of the earth helps us ground ourselves to find our sense of place within our body. Mother Earth encourages us to become fully present through connecting to her through our senses, to get out of our head and enhance our deeper connection with our physical body, our vehicle of life. Today's Earth Element Series class will be focused on the element of Earth. This class is going to be all about connecting to our deeper selves through gentle movement and grounding postures to help you find that stability, balance, and peacefulness of the mind. As you take each breath, allow yourself to surrender to the gravity of the Earth. Let it connect you closer to your body than to everything that surrounds you. So with that said, grab your mat and let's begin. If you enjoyed this practice, check out our digital full-length programs. We have everything from yin yoga, pilates, yoga workouts, and even full fitness programs, specifically designed to give you incredible results in your body and mind. Go to bowbeautiful.life to learn more. With that said, let's get back to our class, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, friends, we're gonna begin today standing at the top of your mat with your feet together, Go ahead and open the palms of your hands to the front of your mat, closing your eyes in this mountain pose, and just taking a second to connect with your breath. Taking a deep inhalation through your nose and a long exhalation, feeling the earth underneath your toes, feeling yourself grounded and balanced on top of your mat. Inhale, and as you exhale, let go of all your worries, all your stress, and simply give yourself permission to be present right now. Let's take another inhale, reaching both arms up to the sky now. Palms together, bending the elbows, bringing the thumbs to your forehead, slightly arching the back if that's comfortable for you. And then exhale, slowly begin to dive yourself all the way down to the floor. See if you can reach your hands towards the mat and then begin to bend one knee at a time. If you'd like to keep both of your knees bent so that you can reach the floor, go ahead and do that. Just adjust to your own level here. Continue to walk out your knees as you allow that connection between your body and the earth to become stronger. Feeling the earth under your feet, under your hands, under your fingers. On your next inhalation, go ahead and look forward and then begin to roll yourself all the way up to standing one more time. Inhale, reaching both arms up to the sky. Surya Namaskar A to warm up the body as you dive yourself back down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, stepping your right foot back into your lunge. Retaining the breath as you step your left foot back into your plank. Exhalation, bring your knees down, chest, and then the chin to the mat. Sliding your way forward into your baby cobra, lifting up from the upper back. And then exhale, release your body, tuck your toes, push yourself back into a downward facing dog. Beautiful. Giving yourself permission here to really let loose. Let go of any tension in your shoulders and your hips, allowing those heels to sink down. And then once you're ready, stepping your right foot forward on your inhalation, Exhalation, stepping your left foot forward, taking a moment to stay in this forward fold. And then on your inhalation, reaching both arms up to the sky, palms together and exhale down to your heart. On your next inhalation, simply reach those arms up, arch the spine if you're comfortable with it. Bending the elbows, diving yourself back down, forward fold. Inhale halfway. And then as you exhale, stepping both feet back into your plank position. And then from here, pushing yourself back into that downward facing dog. Releasing any tension out of the upper back, allowing that sternum to fall to the floor. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Giving yourself a moment to feel that connection between the earth and your fingertips, 
your palms, your feet. And then once you're ready, drop yourself back down into that child's pose. And take a moment to allow the forehead to touch your mat, to feel that connection between your third eye and the earth. Whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and slide yourself forward. And what we're gonna do here is take our puppy posture. So arms are reaching forward, your chest is releasing to the earth. Your hips are staying on top of your knees. Now you can either keep your forehead down on the floor or to increase the stretch, look up with your gaze. With each exhalation, allow your body to let go. Let go of any worries and truly focus on the simple act of inhalation and exhalation. Beautiful. Now slowly begin to transfer your weight forward onto your elbows, hips down. Let's take our cobra pose here. Again, this is a very gentle back bend, keeping your hips and your belly on the floor. Think about opening and arching through the upper back lifting the heart up to the sky closing your eyes and just welcoming that wonderful positive energy through your breath with each inhalation and exhalation now let's slowly release go ahead and bring your chest all the way down to the floor you're going to bend your right knee and grab your right ankle with your right hand with each exhalation now think about pulling that heel closer towards your glute Focusing on releasing any tension out of your right quadricep. Making sure that your hips are square. With each exhalation, just slightly increase the pull. Keep your forehead on your mat. Maintaining that connection of your physical body and the earth. Now from here, we're going to flex that foot. Begin to lift your chest off the floor as you lift that leg up. If you're comfortable, you can grab onto the ankle with both hands. So we're doing a single-legged bow posture. Lift the chest, lift the knee off the floor, lift as high as you can as you pull that heel up to the sky. Keep pulling up, keep pulling up. Engaging your muscles here, keeping the belly on the ground as you lift your heart up to the sky. Lift up a little bit more. Deep breath in. And then pointing the toe, releasing your arms in front as you extend the leg behind. So continuing to engage the muscles. So you're lifting both arms in front of you as high as you can. That back leg lifts up as high as you can. Hold a little bit longer. Release the hands and the foot. Beautiful job. Slowly from here, let's lift and open ourselves up into a full upward facing dog now. So see if you can lift the thighs off the floor as you point your toes, extend the knees, inhale. Exhale, push yourself back into that downward facing dog. Good job. Just take a second here, find that breath. Find that connection between your hands, your fingers, and the mat. Allow the heels to slowly release closer towards the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Deep breath in slowly. Now we're going to begin to release the knees to the floor, pointing the back toes, sitting back into that child's pose, resting your forehead on the floor, deepening that connection again with your breath. And then once you're ready, sliding yourself forward until your hips are directly over top of your knees, releasing the chest into puppy pose. Now to increase the stretch into the tricep area, we're going to bend the elbows and connect the palms of your hands together in prayer position. So you're going to feel not only a release through the upper back, but also a nice deep stretch through the tricep muscles. Just holding this posture with each exhalation, allowing yourself to go deeper. Allow your forehead to stay on the mat here. Feel free to close your eyes and stay internally present. Deep breath in and exhale, just let it all go. Release the arms and then slide yourself forward into your baby cobra, opening the chest, opening the heart up to the sky one more time. Welcoming lots of oxygen into the body here. 
staying grounded and relaxed with the lower body inhale and exhale slowly from here drop your body all the way grabbing your left ankle with your left hand and stay down with your entire body simply focusing on pulling that heel towards the glute all we're going to do here is just try and get a nice release through the left quadricep deep breath in exhale out and again deep breath in just focus on the inhalation and the exhalation exhale pull that heel a little bit closer to your glute let's flex the foot now you're going to reach with that other arm and see if you can grab that ankle if not just keep it next to the side of your body then begin to lift up into that single legged bow posture lift the knee off the floor lift the chest off the floor flex that top foot begin to open yourself up let go of any tightness any tension within your chest within your heart allow yourself to open up to the world as you lift up even higher lift up lift up great job we're almost done one more inhale go a little bit higher if you can point the toes now stay there don't drop the leg yet just extend the knee and reach both arms forward reach like you're trying to grab something in front of you and continue to lift that back leg off the mat lift the thigh off the floor lift a little bit higher engage those back muscles engage your glute muscle and then release it down great job from here lift up all the way to upward facing dog extending your elbows and lifting your thighs off the mat if possible and then push your way through releasing into your downward facing dog great job and again allowing that sternum to fall to the floor as you allow the heels to gently release breath by breath being patient with your body knowing that you are exactly where you need to be so if you cannot touch your heels to the floor today that's okay let's take another deep breath in and then exhale come through into plank position now begin to lower in a chaturanga but i want you to pause here hovering above the floor just for three seconds three two stay hovered one and then drop your body to the floor great job we're gonna go ahead and take our full bow pose now so you're gonna flex your feet grab both ankles and then from here once you're ready begin to lift as high as you can lifting the knees off the floor lifting the thighs off the floor and opening through the chest trying your best to keep your knees close together here keeping the flexion in your feet if this is not possible for you today you can always just stay grounded with your forehead and pull both heels towards the glutes adjusting to your own level as you breathe and hold here for inhale and an exhale beautiful from here pointing the toes and then dropping yourself all the way down forehead to the mat and then from here extending those knees and elbows reaching the arms forward locust pose your salabhasana posture you're reaching the arms forward instead of keeping them by your side to force ourselves to open even further through the upper body lift as high as you can reach up and up even higher we're almost done we're holding this a little longer than the other postures if this gets too much you can always release inhale and exhale drop it down beautiful job go ahead and bring yourself up into that upward facing dog one more time opening through the chest and the heart pressing the palms of your hands into the earth and then push yourself back into that downward facing dog great just take another inhale through your nose long exhalation out as you allow yourself to go deeper each time you come into a downward facing dog notice how much your heels are able to go further down even a millimeter they're able to release a little bit further with each time go ahead and bend your knees now and then hop forward towards the front of your mat coming back into that halfway inhale and then exhale release yourself over onto a seated position on your mat flex your feet inhale reaching tall with your arms up to the sky bending the elbows 
and then releasing yourself over into her seated head to toe forward fold. Feel free to grab those ankles or wrap your hands over top of your feet, whatever is more comfortable for you today. If touching your toes is impossible for you, go ahead and bring your hands underneath your knees just so you have something to hold on to as you begin to release forward with your chest to your thighs. Now remember to never fold from your lower back. You want to fold forward from your hips. So if that means you have to slightly bend the knees at this time, that's okay as well. We wanna make sure that our back is as straight as possible. Breathing deeply with your exhalation, surrendering to this posture. Surrendering to gravity, feeling that natural pull of the earth as you allow yourself to go deeper and deeper into this posture. Great job. Now what we're gonna do here is bring both of your hands over to your right foot. You're gonna point your left toes and then begin to lift your body up as you bring your right leg up with you. If you need to bend that right knee, go ahead and bend it even up to 90 degrees if you have to. With each exhalation, imagine like someone's pulling you up through the crown of your head as you elongate the spine. Staying grounded with both of your sit bones on the ground. Lift and breathe, feeling that gentle release of the hamstring. Pulling up, strong, balanced, and grounded. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, we are going to bend the knee and place the ankle over top of that left thigh. Both arms are going to reach up. Your opposite elbow is going to reach for the knee. And your other hand is going to come right next to your spine. Seated spinal twist. You can either stay here or if you're more advanced, you can go ahead and bind. If you're not comfortable with the bind, that's okay. Just stay in your spinal twist with your hand on the floor. Most importantly is we want to think about twisting from the belly button. Adding mobility into the spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, looking over that right shoulder, look towards the back of your mat, continuing to elongate through the spine. So that visualization of someone pulling you up. Awesome, release the bind and then bring yourself back to center, bending that straight leg and then placing the right ankle over top of the left knee. All we're going to do here is take a very easy seated pigeon pose allowing that right knee to fall away from you as you open the chest and the heart up to the sky, feeling a gentle stretch of your glute. Allow that right knee to gently fall away from you, adding a very small back bend in the lower back if you're comfortable. This will allow you to go even deeper into that glute muscle. Great, now release, and go ahead and switch to the other side. Now you're gonna grab that left foot and then extend the leg if it's within your practice. Otherwise, keep it bent and just stay here. The other leg is grounded and straight on the mat. Your hips are square. Both of your sit bones are connected to the earth. Now begin to breathe and with each exhalation, imagine like someone's pulling you up to the sky through the crown of your head. Elongate through the spine. Feel that deep release in the hamstring. Don't worry about getting a full extension of the knee. All I want you to focus on is just feeling the benefit of this posture, feeling that gentle release of the hamstring. If you are fully extended in that knee, then your goal will be to begin to bring that leg closer towards your forehead, towards your chest. Great job. Now you're going to bend the knee and place the foot over top of that straight leg. Arms up. Opposite elbow towards the knee that's pointing up to the sky. And then the other arm is right next to your body. Begin to look over your left shoulder. 
And if it's within your practice, go ahead and take your bind by threading that front arm through the knee and then the other arm behind your back. If this is confusing right now, don't worry about it. Just breathe and feel the benefit of the spinal twist, elongating through the spine. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Beautiful. Come back to center. Release your bind if you are in a bind. And then let's release our arms down, bending that straight leg, and then placing the left ankle over top of your right knee, allowing that left knee to fall away from you as you gently open the chest, open the spine into our easy seated pigeon pose. A very nice, gentle way to release any tension out of your glute muscle. If you've been sitting for an extended period of time today, this should feel really good on your body. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Great, releasing the leg. Now extending both legs in front of you. Let's take another inhale, both arms up. Exhale, release yourself back into that seated forward fold. You can grab your knees if you have to, grab your big toes, or reach forward towards the heels, keeping the feet flexed. With your exhalation, allow your forehead to come closer and closer to your knees. Inhale and exhale. Just allow yourself to let go. Paying attention to the sensation of gravity pulling you down towards the floor. Feeling that connection of your body, of your mind. Let's take one more deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, lift your arms, release the arms next to the side of your body, scoot forward slightly. And then once you're ready, begin to take your body down one vertebra at a time, all the way to the floor. Once your head touches the floor, you are now ready to release into your Shavasana, our final posture of our practice. One of the most wonderful ways to allow ourselves to connect to Earth. Letting go and surrendering yourself to your mat, to the Earth underneath your mat, underneath your floor. With each exhalation, give yourself permission to let go. No matter what's bothered you today, Give yourself permission to let that go through your breath, that circumstance, that person, whatever has affected your energy. With each inhalation, welcome beautiful, wonderful energy to fill every cell of your body, filling you up with love, positivity, and healing. Feeling that energy running through your body as you allow yourself to let go deeper and deeper into the earth. Visualize yourself gaining strength, gaining stability and balance through the energy of the earth underneath you. Come from the earth, and one day we will return to the earth. That is the cycle of our existence. So take this opportunity right now and reconnect with your body, with your mind, with your spirit within you. 
we connect with the moment of stillness and of breath. Become aware of your body, becoming heavier and heavier with each breath, allowing your weight to let go into the earth knowing that it is there to support you. It is there to guide you, to protect you. Inhale. And exhale, just let it go. Now let's slowly begin to bring movement to the fingers and the toes. Once you're ready, reaching the arms over your head and then bending the knees and rolling yourself over to your one side and then coming up to your seated position on your mat with your feet crossed in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Just take a moment for yourself. Find that breath. And then once you're ready, reaching both arms up to the sky, bring the palms of your hands together and then slowly bring that energy down towards your forehead, your third eye chakra. And then bring your hands over to your heart, keeping the palms of your hands over your heart, sending out gratitude to yourself, to your body, for taking this opportunity to connect with your inner self. Thank you so much for joining us today in beautiful Hawaii. May you be guided and protected by the beautiful power of our Mother Earth. Namaste and have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more yoga classes like this. And of course, don't forget to follow us on social media like Instagram and Facebook. Lots of love. See you soon.